Aquarius. Why you got him so delirious, baby? What you be doing to him for? Let me stop. Hey, what is going on? It is Mira, it is Shira, it is Vera, it is Scorpio Red Tarot. I am back at it one time for the one time. Did you miss me, baby? It is me, you guys. I'm in here to find out what the energies are surrounding my beautiful, beautiful Aquarius for the month of July 2021. We're here to have some fun. Uh, shout out to all my babies, all my OGs, all my newbies, every last one of you guys who've come through, like, share, subscribe, and click this video. Make sure y'all hit that thumbs up button if this video resonates, or if you just want to send some love and support over here to my page, you guys, we have had an amazing break. <laughs> so y'all know I've been on a little hiatus, but... Um, you guys have still been in touch with me. As you can see, we have eight brand new freaking decks on the table. Big shout out. Let me give you guys a round of applause because you guys have been amazing. Thank you guys for all of the love and support and just booking personal and private readings with me because it made it possible for me to be able to make these purchases to put love and energy and new flavor on the table. So I just want to say a big shout out to everybody that's been booking personal and private readings. If you would like to book a personal and private reading, um, go ahead and click the description box of this video or you can um, click the about tab on my YouTube page. It gives you all the various links to communicate with me. The best way to book with me is send me a message on Instagram Messenger. If you don't have Instagram Messenger, just simply shoot me an email at scorpiores at gmail.com and I'll get you, you know, put on the schedule and we'll make things do what it do, okay? So Aquarius, you know, as we always do, we always give Father God acknowledgement, praise, recognition, and love and light and all of our positivity uh, before we get into asking for guidance. So if you wouldn't mind bowing your head with me so we could just go ahead and just give God, uh, you know, thanks and love. So Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of Aquarius. We are here to find out the energy surrounding them for the month of July 2021. Father God, we just... We thank you for all of the good fortune that is just destined to us coming ahead, Father God. We feel lucky. We've been making smart moves. We've been very dedicated to our growth and expansion, Father God. We just want to see every aspect of every opportunity that is presented in front of us turn into something lucrative and beneficial, not for us, but just for everybody that's around us. Father God, you know, we've been acting a little selfish this season because there's a lot of things that we've been needing to keep to ourselves, um, And we've been practicing the responsibility of keeping certain things in the reserve for us and, um, Everyone can't be invited to the party. Everyone can't necessarily be with us in this season. Uh, the people that we have around us are people that we feel comfortable with and the people that we know and we trust and we've been guided to keep around us because the same thing that we would do for them is the same thing that they would do for us. So we are more focused on quality versus quantity. And Father God, we just want to be more protective of everything that we have. We just feel, we finally feel like we're in a good spot, Father God. And we're just thankful for the positive movement that's going on around us. So we just want to continue to um, let all the bless blessings continue to fluctuate upwards, Father God. We just want to continue to reach the success and continue this momentum and just stay positive and uh, reach the top in the name of Jesus. So please give us the guidance that we've been looking for for the sign of Aquarius in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, and amen. All right? All right. So let's see what we got going on for you guys. Y'all over there talking about feeling. Okay, hold on. What's this? Y'all got obsidian. Okay, now. Hold on now. Y'all sitting there. Listen, I told y'all I had to block a few people. I had to act a little block Yana. I had to do that little block, 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 Yana. Okay, so <laughs> obsidian means the shadow, the mirror, uh, amorphous. That ain't a goddamn word. What the fuck does this say? Y'all, I'm sorry. Amorphous, sorry. It says a dark, mysterious crystal. Obsidian reaches into the depths of the shadow, shedding light on what needs to be healed in order to move forward. Obsidian serves as a mirror, revealing the deepest truths. Obsidian's crystalline 
uh, structure is an amorphous moving beyond the conventional time to drip into the past, present, and future and wielding out great power to clear any obstacles. Use obsidian as a shield against psychic attacks and ground your base chakra back on the planet Earth. This is the sign of Sagittarius and the planet of Saturn. Lord Jesus, y'all know how Saturn like to come through and shake things up. Hmm. Obsidian. Let's see what the heck you need obsidian for. That's like, to me, it's like, that's a, it's something going on that you don't, it's like you can't see the doings. You know what I'm saying? You can't see the doings, but at the same time with the mirror energy, it's like, you've seen this from somewhere. You just can't remember where it came from or who may be doing this. But the shadow is like something going on in the darkness. And the obsidian, I mean, I believe this is obsidian. This bracelet right here. I always keep like some obsidian, some tourmaline or something like that on me. Um, just to block out negative energy. So if y'all do not have obsidian, maybe y'all need to keep some in your pocket. Keep some little obsidian stones in your car. Like, you know, okay. Keep some on your person. Give me two cards. What's going on with Aquarius? Why do they need this obsidian? Again, I feel like it's something that's unseen. It's like you can't see the doings. And I don't even know why I need to say it like that. You can't see the doings, okay? What is it? The Three of Pentacles and then the Ten of Swords. So you got the three of pentacles and the ten of swords. Uh, the three of ten, of, the three of pentacles is when um, you're trying to. It's like some type of negotiation. So there could be. It's like someone could be trying to disarm you behind your back, and they're saying that they ex they expect forgiveness for whatever it is that you that they're perceived in doing I don't know if it's like um, they're saying like someone trying to assassinate your character so I don't know if you're like in a negotiation period or if you're in getting some type of counseling and again like I said negotiation counseling where someone is trying to help partner a deal or partner it's it, it, it could be something where it's like I want to tell you to watch yourself because someone may be doing something behind your back trying to negotiate a deal for your for yourself and it's like you don't see this coming and for whatever reason they, regardless of the betrayal they think that you would just be able to get up get over it and recover from it easily and quickly for whatever reason whoever this person is feel like you will be able to easily recover and it's no biggie but it is though and i don't know if this is someone that you know like that and if they could have done this before or someone's done some sneaky underhanded shit it's like something that you're trying to me the three of pentacles is like you're in negotiation with something it's like you're trying to develop something you're trying to get something off of the ground it's like you're receiving some type of help or assistance someone's giving you some type of information on how to do something and i don't know if you were supposed to do it with you and your partner and then it's like the people i feel like whoever this is goes and tries to do it without you or goes to try to do it on their own like it was their idea or it's like their company or something like that and I, I, I feel like you're going to feel really betrayed by it, but you're going to feel really, you are going to feel really betrayed by it, but you are going to be able to recover quickly. But that doesn't mean that that makes it okay for someone to just do something like that. And, it, and it's like the way that this person looks at it, ah, in about two or three years, we'll be able to talk, I'll be able to talk to him again. But as of right now, I had to do what I had to do. And again, it's like some information is being brought out about 
some type of agreement or negotiation and it's like two people being faced with it, having to come together make some decision and try to come to some level of agreement and there's been some there's been a a counselor there's been some counselor or something that had something to do with some negotiation but again, it's like someone is trying to slander. It's like trying to assassinate someone's character to make the counselor agree with their side of the story or something like that. It's something to that extent. You got the tree. I like that. And the seven of hearts, that represents second chances or something from the something in the past. And then, and then the sun represents illumination. It represents um, naivete. Naivete. Is that how you say it? Naivete. Being naive is a motherfucker. It's just young. Something brand new. Something shining. Something that has a glimmer. It's like, okay, so with the tree, I definitely feel like health-wise things are doing good. Like, your hair could be growing like shit. Like, I don't know why your hair is like full and thick or your nails are like very strong and thick and and and. I don't know very sharp like you need to watch your nails like you may need to cut them down or something like I don't know like I, I don't know you might accidentally scratch people like when you go give people hugs or something it's like your nails are so long and sharp you like might accidentally like cut somebody with your nails or whatever but it's like your hair and your nails and things are just like really growing and healthy I don't know if you've been out in the sun a lot it's promoting like healthy hair and nail growth or something or just something about being in the sunlight or being in the spotlight, seeing growth in your materials, growth in your assets, growth in your ability. Um, again, like, I don't know, your kids could be growing. Um, the sun represents children to me. So it's like your children could be growing healthy or just something is growing very healthy and strong and it could also be your finances something that you've been developing on a grassroots level because the sun represents something new something is being emanated uh, illuminated there's a spotlight there's some type of fun there's activity there's active work there's active development there's active growth it's something do you understand um it's something good going around you. I want you to protect that shit with every fucking thing that you got. Um, I wouldn't even necessarily... Uh, 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 I don't even necessarily uh, trust the counselor. Because I, I, I'm looking at this as well. It's like the counselor... Like this could be you and your partner, right? You and your partner came... To this counselor or to this consultant, right? And this is y'all's business. Y'all trying to get this started. But then you end up getting into a whole bunch of bullshit with the consultant. And the consultant is like, oh, well, you assign this agreement which says I'm owed 5% of all royalties and assets because... And you're like, hold on. That's not what the fuck is something about... It's something that you and your partner or what it's like someone is trying to attach themselves to your business. Watch whatever contracts you're signing. I, like, I don't know. It's like I don't trust somebody or something that you're trying to work. It's like and, and I want to say you don't fucking see it coming. And it's because people think that you're mature, you're strong. You're a business-oriented person. You're not going to let it stop you. Ah, five months, this person will get the fuck over it. We'll be good. No, that's not the way shit go. Like, don't go and fuck somebody up. Like, I came to you with the standpoint of you helping me and you helping my business and you giving some advice and you went and fucked me over and you, like, sharing traitors is, like, trade secrets or something like you went and took the information that I told you and you tweaked it and you went and patting that shit on your own and you try to cut me out of the business it's like the consultant and the friend try to cut or oh, this is something mm -mm. 
this seven of hearts represents right here with this tree it represents something familiar it represents um second chances being able to do something over again do you understand what i'm saying like so you're being presented with something now and you're seeing a lot of positive growth from it let me just clarify that real quick and fuck of course of fucking course let's see the seven of hearts is what the seven of hearts means playfulness healing steady improvement happy surprises cycles of life a second chance the opportunity to redo something things that come in twos and then the ace of diamonds means what the Ace of Diamonds is a written newsletter, a message, an invitation, important documents, a new beginning, a fresh start, a new phase of life, something brand new, an engagement ring, um, an engagement, life force, or fire. So, and then there goes the fire right there. Something new, sun, that's fire. So, and again... Remember, I said documents, contracts, something about positive growth, longevity, healthiness with this tree and everything. And it's like, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm being urged to say, like, hey, whatever you're doing, you're going to see change. It's like you're going to stand tall in your in, in your industry. Like, people they they don't have a choice but and then you got the tennis swords again you got the tennis swords again whole totally different deck tennis swords i'm trying to tell you it's like you are going to stand tall in your in, in, in your industry it's like people are not going to have a choice but to see you but yo what the fuck is this shit about this obsidian and this this tennis swords and shit it's like being backstabbed. And then the seven of wands. And it's like, now you about to beat this shit out of... Yo. Yo, do you see how these motherfuckers came out of nowhere and just like betrayed you and just tried to cut you out of something? And it's like, you're not taking that shit, Aquarius. You see how you just came in like having to beat this shit out of all of these motherfuckers? And it's like, people... Are just trying to come from left field. And it's like, oh, well, you signed the contract. And you agreed to this. And it's like, I feel like you trusted whoever this was. And I want to say you didn't read the contract. Because it's like this consultant was trying to, was supposed to negotiate something. But it's like they were in on it too. Y'all, I swear. And I want to say like, this is your business. Or this was your shit or something. And it's like, you trying to do, watch Watch, instead of doing some shit by yourself and trying to figure out how to do some shit by yourself, I feel like your need to feel like you want to bring people in with you and you want to do this with other people. Feeling like you need help or uh, it's like trusting in other people's resources. I feel like that shit is going to backfire. Yo, I'm trying to tell you, like, Aquarius, you going to mark the fuck out and then you going to try to beat the shit. Do you hear me? You is not about to take none of this shit, none of the slander. You not taking none. You are going to defend yourself. Aquarius. Aquarius. <laughs> I had to say y'all name like that in a reading in the middle. Aquarius. What? Y'all just went straight south east. Y'all went Bennett Road on a nigga. Good God. Okay. Y'all done went Bennett Road on. <laughs> okay. I am reloaded. Y'all said, bitch, I'm listening. Y'all must don't know where the fuck I'm from now. I'm trying to be nice. And we was in here on some business. But y'all talking street shit. Now you try to you who? Who? Oh, so you just trying to throw, I was just about to take this shit and it's slander and y'all, y'all really trying to play me like I would be on oh, every last one of y'all ass in here. Okay, y'all must don't know. I'm sorry. Y'all must don't know how Aquarius get down. Aquarius from the streets. Aquarius from Southeast. Sorry, let me show <laughs> Woo! Woo! Oh, Southeast. Why 
what y'all say? Oh, Southeast. One more time. Oh, Southeast. <laughs> so, shout out to DC. It says, be aware that your thoughts and belief are just as impactful as your actions. Again, be aware that your thoughts and beliefs are just as impactful as your actions. Mm. I feel like from the beginning, I, like, did you ever trust these people? It's like, I, I feel like someone felt the need that they need other people to, to, to help them do something, but I don't necessarily know how someone comes and portrays somebody like that especially when y'all were being brought to the table for the mere fact and benefit of making everybody money why in the fuck again remember i'm saying this is some shit that is going on in the shadows but at the same time it's going to remind y'all when you see it and you feel it, you can't mistake it. And, and uh, listen. And this is the second chance. So, again, like they're saying something about second chances. New opportunities. New stuff. Y'all, you're giving someone a second chance to do something again with you for the first time. And I feel like they're going to do the same shit. You got two ten of swords. Like, they might have did something before and you might have healed and got over it. And then they're going to turn around and do the same shit to you again. But this one, this time you're not going to take that shit laying down. You're going to beat some ass. Do you hear me? And with the, remember I said them strong, sharp ass nails? Oh my God. You is going to beat the fuck. Yo, give me goddess and love because I just can't with this with Aquarius. What's going on in love? Give me some betterment in love at least. Shit. Damn Aquarius. Why is they trying to play with my Aquarius like that? Why is everybody getting reparenting yourself? Look, you're going to have to relearn. Listen, I know you've been trying to be the nice guy and shit, but you might just have to beat somebody. You just might have to beat somebody because you ain't beat their ass the first time. Okay? And what is this? Self-respect. Self-respect. Respect yourself. Respect yourself. Okay? Hello? Respect yourself. <sighs> Mm -mm. y'all in regards to love it seems like we're just we're learning a better way we're learning a better way because today is a better day and we're learning to respect ourselves and to remain ourselves in a state of quality that we want to receive if we want to if we want people to deal with us a certain way we need to make sure that we deal with ourself like that and we need to deal with other people like that and other people can't start respecting me until I learn how to respect myself you understand so I don't know if you guys are just changing things up a little bit maybe you guys felt like you weren't carrying yourself in the best way possible you know and I got to think about my self-respect. It's not about what's best for you. It's about what's best for me. And I'm never, ever in my life going to put myself in a position where I'm going to harm myself or allow myself to be out here looking ridiculous. You know? So that's just facts on top of facts on top of facts. Okay? Give me guidance. Give me one for queries. Lord Jesus. God, I don't know why I want to get out of this energy so bad, y'all. Oh, my goodness. I'm starting to get a fucking headache, y'all. Because I just can't even believe... God, why do I feel, I feel like I just got hit upside? I feel, I feel, Aquarius, I feel like y'all done came and hit me upside my damn head with the damn thing. Like, Aquarius, is you going to Jesus, Aquarius. God, I feel like someone hit me in my damn head. It says, your love life will transform when you learn to truly love yourself just as you are. Respect yourself. Did not say respect yourself. Respect yourself. Okay, I'm sorry. Ooh, Aquarius. Woo, okay, so. Your life will transform when you learn to truly love and respect yourself and love yourself just as you are. You are perfect just the way you are. Expect this, accept this, and you. I can't even read, Jesus. I'm just thrown off. I'm throwing the fuck. Okay, hold on. Help me in the name. Hold on. Come on, Father. 
see, they can't be giving motherfuckers, can't be giving people no second chance. You see what happened when you give motherfuckers second chances? Now, because I'm triggered now. I am triggered. Uh-uh. I scratch the fuck. Look, Chorus, if you scratch the fuck out of them, I mean, get down in the inner crutches. Gouge the... I'm upset. I'm upset. 50,000 for revenge. What, nigga? What you heard with 50, what Drake said? Okay? Oh, fuck. Whoo, I'm sorry, y'all. Hold on. <laughs> I am triggered, y'all. I am triggered. Whoo, okay. <laughs> okay, I'm trying, I'm trying. Okay, your love life will transform when you learn to truly love yourself just as you are you are perfect just as the way you are accept this and you will be amazed by the changes it brings in your life in the name of jesus cha la la cha la la y'all okay i, I gotta whoo aquarius beat motherfuckers up young look we beat bitches up y'all y'all go do they not? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ooh, triggered. Oh, God. We beat bitches in the face. Do y'all not understand? Y'all cannot be playing. Y'all. <laughs> oh, Lord. Lord Jesus. Ooh, yes, come on. Listen, I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all don't even understand what is being said in my head. Listen, we on that Sukiyana. We be bitches in my face, bitch. Don't you play with my fuck. You think, okay, you gonna do it again? And you was going to do it. And you was going, because you thought I ain't whoop your ass the first time. You think I ain't gonna whoop it? Bitch, I, I beat bitches in the face, bitch. Did you, you know I'm Sukiyana about my shit? I'm... Uh, Okay, 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 okay. I'm sorry, because I said I wasn't going to do it. And I did. And I'm sorry, because I'm triggered, y'all. Oh, my God. Whoo, Jesus. Louisa. What? Oh, y'all. What? Go look back at that paperwork that you signed. Look back at... Give me guidance for that. Because we got to beat bitches in they face about this. And then you got the slide fight. And then you got the seven of swords. We got to beat bitches in they face about this here. Bitches need to be beat the fuck up. They need to be beat up about they face regimens. Okay? Or your face regimen need to be rearranged. We need to rearrange your cheek in alignments. It scared you. Ooh, these sleek, sadistic bitches. You nasty son of a motherfucking bitches. I'm so sorry. Ooh, ooh, the five of wands. And the five of wands. I told you. Did, did not tell you Aquarius about the beat. Y'all ass. Aquarius, listen, y'all thought that y'all, listen, and they think that they not about to get away with it, Aquarius. Do you see the slick ass motherfucker? Look at this motherfucker. Look at him. Look at him trying to steal your shit, trying to steal your ideas. They think that they can out trick the tricks. They think that they can outsmart you. And Aquarius come and hang foot all off in they ass regions. Do you hear what I'm saying? Because I don't even think no love came up out of this shit. This shit ain't got a motherfucking thing to do. Oh, listen, if this dude got something to do with love, it's because they did it once, they did it twice, and bitch, the third time around, I'm going to beat your ass. Okay, I'm sorry. I got to go. Because Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. Aquarius, y'all. We beat bitches in they face about this shit here. I'm sorry. Y'all hit the like button because I, I, y'all had me in here acting up in the name of Jesus. I said, I said, I was going, I'm going to repent about this one because this Aquarius got me acting real disrespectful. Look, bitches is just trying to be out here, just trying to grow and trying to shine. And y'all bitches want to get hit with the what? I got to go. I got to go. Hit the like button. Bye.